Hey guys, it's Juanito's Peppers. Alright, I do an update. Um, so, we're nearing about the time when the peppers should be producing. Usually they're around 90 days or something like that to transplant to fruit. And uh, I planted them around May. So it's like three months. So we're in, we're in uh, July, middle of July, so... This will be the first fruit. The first harvest is usually the smallest. Um, so yeah, and chinints are usually seem to be slower than the other varieties. So let's go ahead and take a look. Um, first one I have color coming in on this uh, uh, Brazilian ghost from John Ford. That one's just starting to get the color, and there's a couple of more over there. Well, these two rows I haven't weeded yet, as you can tell. And then the rows I have weeded look really nice. <laughs> well, the Ahi Omni colors, really cool. They start off that pale, pale color, and then they go to purple, and then they eventually turn this orange color and then they mature to a darker reddish orange and there's you can tell those are lots of pods they're pretty so they produced a lot faster than most of the other ones and here we have a cool one these are purple I don't know if you can see yeah there you go oh, that one's got like a spider on it or something <laughs> I think these are, uh, yeah, these are Pimienta de Night crossed with a butt. Jalokia Ghost. They're doing pretty good. They're pretty productive, too. See them all down here? And I have no idea what this plant is. I guess it's supposed to be another Pimienta de Night crossed with butt, but... Um, it's got the red or orange pods. Let's see. Maybe that just got the butt part more. Boot. Whatever you want to call it. These are ahi pineapples. You can tell they're flowering up. I uh, did a small harvest on them. So they're really flowering up. I'm about to go for another big run of peppers. Um, here's one that I didn't pick yet. These are really great peppers. Really tasty. And they're pretty productive too. Uh, got some chinenses over here. They don't really have much on them. You got some cool bumpy pods right here. Um, got uh, white uh, got white nagas over here you can see them in there another one this is just a sweet pepper uh, a wax pepper and those are white butts over there. They look pretty much the same as the white nagas, actually. So I don't know how much difference there is. You can see he's got a few in there. It's hard. It's going to be hard to tell, I think, whenever the white ones go ripe. Because they're kind of like this palish green. And then they'll turn a little bit wider and wider as time goes on. And it'll be like, uh, so is it ready now? Because it's the same problem I'm having over here on these Ahi Fantasies. <laughs> like, because they're whitish, kind of. And then these ones are kind of yellowish. So, when are they done? I don't know. But this one's really productive, too. You can see. 
We got some dual saves over here. They're doing good too. Seems like the Bakhtams produce the most, quickest. We got some starfish over here. There's lots of them on here. They're cool just because of their shape, mostly. Kind of like a pumpkinish, kind of, kind of like a star. Yeah, there's lots over here. They haven't gone ripe yet. This one looks like a UFO kind of. And then we got a row of chinets over here. I think these are supposed to be moas. You can see there's a bunch over here. They're pretty, pretty heavy compared to the other ones. There's some more. Some more down here. And this starfish is just starting to turn. You can tell, but the yellow around the shoulders. These are some uh, habaneros I got from the local nursery. They're starting to turn, it looks like. They're really small plants. They were playing it after the rest. It seems like they caught up and they're fruiting already, so. Uh, these are my grow down large orange ties. They grow, they're about waist height right now. They just started to flower. Um, got some reapers over here. They're doing pretty good. They're the biggest of the chinets, these two right here. Well, I can see one is just starting to turn right here. See, it's got that reddish tint. See, some of them will have really nice tails like this. And then, so it's on the same plant, some of them won't. But they're nice and bumpy, at least. Uh, Yaki Browns are over here. They're kind of, they got like green and dark brownish foliage. And they have dark stems. Uh, they're kind of like a, a boot. They, they start off green and brown. And eventually go brownish reddish color they're pretty productive with the multiple pods per node um, these are supposed to be Kirby and red right here they're super productive as you can see lots of them in here uh, I don't think any are turning color and they're pretty small as you can see Who knows? There's another one right there. There's some in there. Um, these are the unknown. Wait, what are these? Lucy's. These are pretty productive. They don't seem very shapely. They just kind of look like a seven pot. I guess kind of elongated actually. And this one is the one I'm most interested in trying. These are the unknown brain strain cross brown. I got them from pick one. There's lots of big pods in here. And they kind of got like a little tail. See? This one's just started turning. You can see he's going brownish. Still green though. So yeah, I'll be really interested to try those. Supposedly they're really hot and they're bumpy and they're big. So there's really nothing to hate about them. They're really cool. Uh, this is another one. You can see. This one's quite a bit smaller than that plant. Uh, there's some more dual says over here. You can see. 
starting to turn yellow. Really productive. More over here. And some more orange. Turning orange. Uh, some more starfish right here. You got lots of starfish. Um, yeah, then tons of weeds over here that I need to do. The ricottos over here are pretty staying pretty small. I'm guessing because all the weeds need to be weeded. There's a couple of pods on them. They've stayed pretty small. Um, got some pink tigers over here. They aren't doing, doing too great. They've come back at least a little bit. And here's one that's actually doing better. You can see it got kind of stripped. The leaves got stripped off. And then it started growing them back again. So. It's got little branches coming out there. But here's the pods. They're still unripe. Uh, they're like greenish to purplish right now. Oh no, look! Someone took a bite out of this one. Gosh dang it. Well, there's that. There's some more over here. I'm not quite sure what these are actually. Because they look like uh, PDNs, Pimenta de Nides, because they're so dark. They're almost black and purple. And uh, the Yaki Blue right here. They're green, then they turn purplish. Then they'll turn reddish. They haven't seen any yet. So yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching the update.